Hi everyone, I'm Chris Cook. I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. If you are interested in uh, taking a look at my Scentsy page, it is chriscook.scentsy.us. But today we are going to talk about, um, we are very late in talking about um, levels one through three in Hipcentric. Uh, Tracy Anderson Metamorphosis. Uh, this particular packaging is a little bit different than the others, but this was the whole DVD. I was doing um, two levels at a time, uh, but I am extremely late um, in doing this video. So after I completed Abcentric, I went right on to Hipcentric. And um, again, I am not doing, well, I was not doing the cardio. Um, We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. And um, I did hip centric at the very beginning of basically a year ago. There are some videos on YouTube. They were called hip centric. Some seem different. I, I don't remember. You know, it's been a year. Um, so I'm not sure, but... Uh, some of the exercises seem different. So um, I am now doing the complete hip centric program um, with a little interruption, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, but I did do levels one through three. So on uh, level one, I thought it was definitely still challenging. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, let me go back just a minute here. After the hip centric, I bought all four um, programs and I went on to ab centric, completed that, and then, excuse me, completed glute centric. So ab centric, glute centric, and now hip centric. Um, so I still felt through all three levels, you know, a little bit, a little bit of soreness, you know, just natural things. Um, I thought level one was still challenging. I really felt it in my wrists in level one and two. Um, wrist and forearms, because I think you're just in that all fours position a lot more than, you know, towards the end of the levels. Um, uh, one thing that I was asking myself, is level one the same on all programs? I had this, some notes from someone else, um, and I'm just not sure. I haven't found those. I don't know what I did with them. Um, but they said, you know, like glute and hip are um, the same on certain levels. Um, and ab and omni are the same on certain levels. So, um, level one, I know the last level was the same on all of them, level nine, but I'm not sure. So if you know, let me know. Um, level two, I really liked that level a lot. Um, I still felt sore on day two. Um, there were a couple moves in this level where I tried to make it harder. Um, level or move number one, um, the arm was supposed to go down and then up, down and then up. And I would just um, do it down and then like not touch. So instead of a straight arm, I would do a not touch at all. So just one arm. Um, and then when your arm was supposed to be on your side, I would just move it to the back because I do believe that movement tightens things up a lot. Uh, so I would do that. Um, level three, I said I was sore on day two. My ribs were sore. I didn't make a whole lot of notes either. I was just kind of complacent, I guess, um, in this, but, um, I have been enjoying doing this. Um, I am currently on level four and I did week one of level four. Um, and I did start the entire program back October 1st of 2023. So it's been over a year now, I, about a year when I started this. So I am super happy with the results. Um, I'm not losing a whole lot of inches I've noticed, but 
the skin is flabbier and the muscles are building if that if that you know so there are certainly certainly changes um, that I've noticed using this program and I'm 55 and I've been overweight a good portion of my life so um, just to be you know not overweight and to be seeing muscular development and um, you know things like that just makes me happy so last when oh um, one thing that I did add um, probably a little bit before I completed glute was my husband and I started taking walks with the dogs turned out to be about three miles um, every evening and that was great I loved it but I fell and there's a boo-boo there too hurt myself my knees are like a disaster I will spare you those <laughs> um, so I cannot get down on my hands and knees. I probably could get down on my hands, but my knees, no. They are healing um, slowly, but surely my right knee is also black and blue. I've had a little bit of a problem with that, but nothing major, but I seriously like face planted. Uh, my glasses fell off. If you wear glasses, you know. I had a little scrape on my chin, not much, a little bite on my, a little lip knock, um, but not too bad. Um, but I cannot get down on my hands and knees now. So I started yesterday. Oh, one thing I did want to say, I'm both level two and three. Um, level two the second week and level three, or no, level three the second week and level four the first week. I did take two days off. I have been thinking about that and I saw some postings in the Tracy Anderson community on Facebook um, about people taking a couple days off a week, not doing every program for 10 days because I do feel towards the end of that 10 days, I really, like my body, my body's exhausted. That last day is, is tough. So I was wondering what it would be like. Now, I think two days off is too much. Um, the first time I did it was just out of necessity and time and you know what was going on in my life at, the, at that point. Um, the second time it was because I fell. I fell on last Wednesday. Um, so Thursday and Friday I took off and then Monday I found um, new program. So, if I do take a day off, I think it'll be one day a week um, and just whatever day needed. Um, but I do, I feel good. It's just sometimes uh, waking up at like before 5 a.m. to work out and shower takes it out of me. Um, so, but I do feel good when I'm done. So, so far this week, it's Tuesday. I've been um, alternating between these two. Um, this has some stand-up exercises in it um, that I've been using with a chair. Um, those were good. And then this one, I did um, the stand-up with the band and uh, the number one um, cardio in it. Um, cardio wasn't too bad. I did, you know, I can make it all the way through. The fact that it's cardio isn't bad. It's just the jumping and stuff. So I definitely find myself, um, modifying some of the cardio moves. Um, and it's, you know, it's still hard on my knees, but it's, I think it's good to get that in anyway. So I do like that, but, um, yeah, I'll continue with this as soon as I heal up. It might be another couple weeks. Um, but I'll just continue with those two. I went through all my DVDs that I have, and those two seem to be the best for the situation that I'm in right now. So uh, that is what I'm gonna work with. Um, and then I think that's it really. Um, kind of a quick video, but I just wanted to update you on where I am and what I'm doing. And we will continue on and hopefully just, you know, the mix up um, I have been talking about that perfect design series and, um, you know, level two had you or level one had you on your hands and knees the whole time. So I didn't bother looking at the other ones. 
Um, but yep, yeah, that's where I am right now. And I thank you for joining me. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.